What's good, G's? Been hearing a lot of stuff about quantum jumping and I kind of wanted to explain to you my protocol because I'm gonna do kind of a public quantum jump starting tomorrow. And again, I'm just an extra in your story, like I said, leader of a leaderless movement. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I've done today. So if you can't imagine your room or your house being your jump room or your stargate or your portal, because you spend a lot of time there, you wanna to try to perfect it as much as you can. So that means decluttering, that means having things in their place, and that means sometimes rearranging things. And sometimes the changes can be subtle, but sometimes they can be drastic and we'll kind of talk through it. But part of that is to change the vibration of where you are so it matches the jump that you want to make. So it can be a slight change or it could be a dramatic change. I like to try to pretend like Jesus, Buddha, or whoever the highest being you can imagine is coming to visit and you want to have your place, you know, straighten up for them because that's who you are, right? So you want to live in that same space. So I've changed around this area where I spend a lot of time and do a lot of work. So ideally you want to change your environment. It could be a small step, it could just be a lateral move, but that lateral move could also allow you to step into a higher vibration, higher dimension, higher timeline. So whatever change you want to make is up to you, but you see I switch things around here. Also right on my board, 28, which is going to be the jump. But also think about vibration. Think about what you're seeing as vibration. There's five S's in the corporate world. Sustain, standardize, sort, straighten, and shine. So imagine doing your environment that way so that, again, you can have a clean jump and no clutter. Because the things that aren't supposed to be there will stick out, right? So you want to try to perfect that as much as you can. And the exercise of doing it is also a meditation because you can think about the new reality that you're creating. You're creating an environment for you to change. That's all a quantum jump is, it's just a major change. And I'm gonna do a major change tomorrow. And who sees where I land, but it's definitely gonna be a shift. And this wall is the stuff I've been kind of in this loop for a few years, and this is gonna be the closing of this loop for me, so I'm kind of excited about it. And those dates coincide with this date, but that's not actually today, that was last year. So anyway, this whole thing is gonna be turned into an NFT and I'm gonna chop it up at the end of this. So we'll see if there's any value that will be added to it by what I'm doing in the physical. But the intent is to change your environment so that as you think about where you wanna go and where you wanna jump, it's a physical change. So that helps you mentally change as well. You know I like to play with randomness, so we'll just see what comes out of this music. No regrets.